Everything's freezing. The ground, the air, me. Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Alright, what quests do I have? Weapons to the Lodge to do. Power cells to find for that one. Errands. Out of the forage. Neltuk has... Right. We, we, let's carry on with the story element now. We've done all the... The main quest for the Frozen Wilds one. We'll just grab these as they come now. Only four more to grab. Excellent. Hair is represented by this icon, describes women's ability to knock components off machines. Ah, that is useful information. I'm going to switch one of my weapons around. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have you... <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to have you back. You're a lot more useful than the ice one. Why did you make me cro- oh, 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 bloody wave points. There we go. Not sure why you're, why you're going all tense and creepy music, but... Whatever it is, I don't want to know about it. Campfire discovered. Where? Excellent. Aloy, hey, you're very close now. I was wondering when you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh, wait. I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. <laughs> there are the handholds, right where you'd said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. <laughs> All right, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. What night falls, we'll talk. All right. At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disc, you'll find a 
module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. All right, then. So you were part of the eclipse. I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. What a dick. I agree. Oh dear. Well, that's that lot taken care of. Oh, no, here we go. Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. Thankfully these guys still don't still go down easy.
getting close now. Head for that ridge. Just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. We need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. Alright, so get a look at this tall neck. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. <laughs> you see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these eclipse troopers? Avoid them or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. The more we dig for the ancient machines, the stronger we grow. Our time has come. That's him done. Several data points. So long as King Itaman languishes at sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring, but he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, he nurtures life, and the next, scorches life away. He burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a Sun King must follow. The example of your father. But before my instruction could take hold, she was there, clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? No space. Every morning, I wake to the same nightmare. The same reality. Holy Meridian. Holy the crap. Hands of profligates, debased. The spire, towering above the horizon like in a glittering 
will spike through the center of my mind. Every daybreak in exile is a mark of failure. But the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken. The profligate slaughtered. A true king restored to the Mesa throne. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. Uh-huh, sure you have. My lord, the 13th king of the Karja Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launched their assault, as their cannons forged by Asaram filth toppled the battlements and burst the gates. I would have fought to the end, but it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west, to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, I trembled. Was I not the Chosen of the Sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness? Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy, and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. A whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the wheel of time would require more than sun and faith. All forces must combine, all halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn, for without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. All right. The meridian and the spire. Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this, but instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the Chosen of the Sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself, or another. That's healthy. When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcomed me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its... fragility. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed, how its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed threw open the casement and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body, stretched beside mine, seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. 
All right then. There we go. Push. He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that tall neck? It would not have been easy to drag a tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is raw. Just get to the module and destroy it. Good. That'll be quick. This... This is Hades? Aloy, this is not the time. It's... a metal dimple. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. That looks bad. Entity has come here. Entity miscalculated. Entity cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. Maybe you are. But this isn't! Destroy the entity. Well, that's one way to crash the network, I guess. We're just going to, yeah, just run. Just run. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Where am I going? This way. Shit. Hey, like, move. We good? We have to be, there's a sequel. <laughs> ah, there we go.
rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. Crash the Eclipse Network. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. Alright. Where are you? Over here. Alright. I don't know if this is end game. It doesn't feel like end game, but at the same time it kind of does. Let's see. But before we do that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.